Welcome back guys to Oxygen Not Included. Now this game just received an update which is the Outbreak upgrade and it has received an app some things that are absolutely game changing to this thing now obviously the biggest and major most major thing is the germ function within this and the immunity of your your duplicates that you have to maintain and and all the equipment that goes along with that that's the biggest thing then there's some changes to farm and then other plants and the you know different ways on how that functions and then there's other buildings that are, are like the thermal aqua tuner which, which is absolutely awesome because it's basically a thermal regulator and i've already tested it guys this is going to be an awesome way to make steam as you can tell i've got it hooked up down here and i've been experimenting with that and but the biggest one i wanted to talk about is probably the most important one to this channel because of what i specifically do here on the on my youtube channel and i've done over the last 50 or so episodes here and that is doing experiments where i use the debug tool which is this guy over here so which i'll be telling you how to set up if you don't know how to set up that so stay tuned for that um but essentially this was the last thing i covered which was a hydrogen bubbler system so in this case i'm super cooling hydrogen down here and making it into you know, it's super, super cold, right? And so that liquefies polluted oxygen into liquid oxygen so that in that process, I clean the oxygen and then can reuse it in the base. So that gets rid of all of this nasty polluted oxygen, which is going to be much more important now that we have these germ function within the game. So I gotta, you gotta make sure you keep that polluted oxygen out and purify it if possible. Not to mention there's chlorine that we can now use for all of this good stuff. So there's gonna be a lot more systems, but with these systems and all the iterations and things like that, wouldn't it be awesome if we could have a blueprint that we could then take and paste in and, and modify and share with each other? Well, this is something that you guys have tried to do several times as we've gotten into the comments here. Um, through images. You guys have sent me images many, many times. Like this guy right here was sending me an image of his hydrogen bubbler system. And look at this. Look at how sophisticated it is. It's got arrows and all this stuff that he's using here to, to describe what's going on. Now, now, while I love all of this description, which is absolutely awesome, recreating this within my base would be would just be horrible. What I really need is a blueprint maker. So that's sort of what we have right here. This is the base and world tools, which pops up with the cell painter now if you have debug enabled. Now, if you don't have debug, let me just show you how to set that up real quick. Essentially, you're going to want to go to the file where you have... So to set up the debug mode so that when you press backspace, you actually end up with a cell painter and you enable all the debug functions, what you need to have inside of your oxygen not included underscore data folder, which you will have to navigate. You can see that path right there, program files, steam, steam apps, common, oxygen not included, and then that same spot right there. You'll need to have a text file. So this is just a simple text file, debug underscore enable. So just you know, right click, make a new text file, text document right, right there and name it that and you should be good to go. That's it. That allows you to enable debug mode. Otherwise, when you press backspace, nothing will happen. But the tool is base and world tools right here. So you can see a couple of different things. You have some paste templates down here. So these are different templates. You can see the folder that those things are in slash whatever their name is right there. So as you may have noticed here on this screen, I have two printing pods. What? So um, there's many scenarios that you guys have been recommending that I try to do as far as challenges, right? So we try to set up and play the game different ways. And one of those ones was like a nomad setup to where, or, or multiple base where you have kind of, well, let me just use this, right? If I select base and starting thing, you can kind of see where this is going to be placed inside of the map. So if I put one there and maybe put one here and then put one here and then use control and F2, right? to pop in a couple of duplicates. I've just created a whole new way to start up and play the game, which I can save out as as my own starting, you know, saved game. <laughs> and then and then play the game in a completely different way. Or what I can do is I can select all of this right here and just say start with this. which still uses all the different commands right there. But if I hit save, guess what? That ends up inside of this folder right here. 
So right there is start with this dot y a m l. So you can see the the path right there. S streaming assets templates. Mhm. Mm so real quickly, if I deselect a bunch of this stuff, boom, there you have it. And then if I just go down here and I look for start with this, you'll see it loads it all up. So at this point, I can take this and drop this anywhere on my map and it'll convert all the tiles so that it matches what that was. So while this isn't exactly a blueprint maker to where, you know, you can set this up and and then the duplicates have to go and make it, this is a way to kind of take something like this hydrogen bubbler system, copy this, and then make alternate revisions of it while you're working through your debug tool to really refine exactly what it is you're working on. So for me, and what I do on my channel with all my experiments, this is going to be super helpful. So with that in mind, this is a really, really great tool for collaborating between you and myself and you know all the different things that we're going that we have going on here i mean look at this i can convert <laughs> oh it's like they made this tool just for me it's absolutely awesome now i'm open to ideas of how to actually share those physical files maybe i'll make my own little email address that you guys can then share that stuff with obviously having some sort of picture related with this you know template is going to be really helpful but that's the one thing I really wanted to share with you guys just to kind of show it to you because it's going to be really, really helpful and hopefully important here as we move forward with more and more episodes here of Oxygen Not Included. I would really like to do like awesome machines that you guys come up with and awesome, awesome bases that you guys come up with and kind of share that on a, a, a weekly basis. You know what I mean? Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can make more puffs this way. Come on. Let me save it up. Come on. Give me some more puffs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can make more puffs. Woo. <laughs> oh, man. This opened up so many opportunities, guys. Oh, this is the tool I've been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, they all died. That would be absolutely tragic if I couldn't just, oh, make more. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on this, start creating some awesome stuff and then sharing it with me so that I can do kind of crazy weekly reviews of just the most insane stuff that you guys create. I, uh, I, you see where I'm going with this, right? You can, you can see it, it's clicking, right? The stuff, the experiments that I've done, you guys come up with stuff, make blueprints, I implement it into some sort of video, and then I'm able to share it that way. So that way we can have different challenges that start off maybe on Monday or Tuesday or something like that, and then we do a review on Friday to see what people have come up with, or I don't know, see who has the craziest base, or starting off with different challenges. You get the idea, and this is all kind of a precursor to what's probably going to end up on the Steam uh, workshop at some point. So, while the rest of the game and all of the sweet updates that have come with it, you know, with the, the, the massive, you know, chunk of equipment that I think is the ther thermal aqua tuner right there, there's a lot of really, really good stuff here in this latest update that's that I'm just looking forward to, you know, diving into so thank you guys for watching hopefully if you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of oxygen not included and found it somewhat helpful if you did let me know down there in the comment section below uh give me your ideas on how to actually functionally share this because there's thousands of you guys and one of me <laughs> and i cannot i can't read through everything as much as i would like to so I would really like your ideas on how to kind of maintain and optimize that. So if you guys got some good ideas, let me know down there in the comment section below. And I really look forward to seeing where this new functionality takes the channel. So if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.